up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm doing another Before It's Out video. Now, if you guys don't know what Before It's Out is, basically it's a web series where we're taking a look at a Transformers toy before it gets released, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Legends LGEX Big Powered Exclusive set uh, from Takara Tomy. Now, I gotta say beforehand, I'm not attached to these characters. I don't know pretty much anything about them at all. Um, I believe they're from Transformers Zone, but someone requested that I do a video on these, and I thought, eh, why not? They look kind of cool. Um, also, I, I gotta mention, I, I was gonna do just a random TF Talk video, but I figured, why not just make it before it's out? Anyways, let's take a look at the set, starting with the big guy, uh, Die Atlas. Um, I, I believe that's what it's called. So, this mold is taken from the Sky, or not Sky Shot, the, um... What was it? The Sky Shadow figure, um, which is also Overlord, but this is taken directly from Sky Shadow. Uh, I believe it comes with a new gun and a new chest and a new head. Um, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, also, the uh, the cockpit or the uh, the jet looks different too because it's got that drill bit on the front. Um, but uh, yeah, you you can uh, take the jet part and uh, plug it on top of the tank, so that's cool. Um, I also like how in the photos they show the arms pointing forward like giant missile pods or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I, I like the, uh, alt mode. I, I think the coloring is nice with the white and blue. Uh, in robot mode, it looks pretty good as well. Um, I even like how they tried to change it up by, uh, attaching the two wings together to form a shield. Um, and the coloring is nice. I like the green, I like the yellow, I like the blue, I like the white. Um, lots of colors, but, you know, it's very bright. Uh, the base mode's pretty cool too, but there's not really much else going on that's different from the Sky Shadow. Um, uh, but still, you know, it's not too bad. Um, I was kind of disappointed with the Overlord, uh, base, but when you compare it to the original one, I mean, that thing looked massive, it had a bunch of ramps and whatnot. Um, but, uh, for this I think it works. Uh, taking a look at, uh, what is this character's name? This is, I believe, Roadfire or Sonic Bomber. I can't remember. It, it's the Black Jet one. I, again, I don't know anything about Zone. I could search it up, so whatever. Uh, but anyways, uh, this one is the Jet, and it is a remold of Misfire. I didn't really catch on to that right away, um, but I started to notice in the robot mode that there's these certain parts that Misfire shares. Um, and the jet mode looks pretty cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, I think it was Transformers Energon. Um, I think it was Air Raid, the Scout class figure. Not necessarily for the paint deco, uh, although it kind of looks like the G1 Air Raid. Uh, but just the shape overall. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks like something Batman would fly. And then in robot mode... Yeah, I, I really like how this looks. I, I like the yellow and the red on the chest. I think his head looks fantastic. And I love the fact that there's a lot going on that's different compared to the Misfire toy. Um, but yeah. Oh, the white and red on the arms. I didn't even notice that on on, uh, on first glance. Um, but yeah, pretty cool looking. I like it. Um, and then also they included base modes for each figure, which is kind of weird, but all right. Um, for the Misfire repaint, um, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, and then we get to the one that looks like Top Spin. Um, it looks like a, a red, or no, actually, it looks like Twin Twist uh, because it's got the treads. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I like the uh, newly molded front and the giant cannon on the top. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, it looks like the cannon can open up so you can put one of the uh, Titan Masters inside it, and yes, it does continue the Titan Master gimmick. Um, but uh, yeah, very cool. I like the coloring on this especially. I, I don't know why. I, I think the red and the black really works for this tank aesthetic. Uh, although it is definitely a more crazy looking tank. Uh, and then in robot mode, you get a little more of that white showing, um, which I do like. Um, the entire turret forms a gun for him, which I kind of want that to, I don't know, shrink down, but uh, it, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, he looks like he's wearing red boots, which I love. Um, and the head mold's fine too. I, I think the set looks good. 
And then he's got his own base mode again, which I want to take Top Spin and Twin Twist and see if I can do the same. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So there's not really much uh, for me to say because they are mostly repaints. Um, you could also combine each figure into this big power thing, which looks both ridiculous and cool at the same time. Um, but again, because they're repaints, there's not really much more for me to say, and because I'm not really connected with the characters, I don't know what exactly you guys want me to say about this. It's a good looking set, I will say that, um, and I like the coloring, and I, I don't think it's too bad of a price, but that might just be me. Um, and I'm actually considering getting it, even though I'm not really attached to it. It, it does kind of expand off my collection to something else, something that I'm not really, uh, I'm not really close to, um, so I don't know. With that said, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads, and I will see you guys next time.